In 1838, the United States government funded a military and scientific expedition of six Navy ships and hundreds of men to circumnavigate the globe. The United States Exploring Expedition, known as the USXX or the Wilkes Expedition, after their commander, Lieutenant Charles Wilkes, would travel 87,000 miles in four years, chart unknown Pacific Islands, discover Antarctica and chart 1,500 miles of its coast, and return with over 40 tons of animal, plant, and ethnographic specimens. The collections of the USXX became the foundation for the Smithsonian Institution. American History TV visited the Smithsonian to learn about the expedition and to learn how USXX specimens are still being used for scientific research. I'm Rusty Russell. I'm the collections manager in the Department of Botany at the Natural History Museum at the Smithsonian. And right now, we are here in the Cullman Library, which is where we assemble all of the rare books within the institution. Well, the U.S. Exploring Expedition was essentially the United States equivalent of the uh, voyages on behalf of England by Captain James Cook. Uh, this occurred, however, some 65 years later. Uh, the four-year round-the-world voyage of the U.S. Exploring Expedition, however, resulted in a greater number of scientific specimens uh, than all of the three Cook voyages combined. And in addition, they mapped hundreds of islands and included discovering Antarctica and mapping 1,500 miles of the coastline. So all in all, it was a huge national uh, and scientific uh, success. It was a U.S. government expedition, and so the entire exercise in the in the mind of Captain Charles Wilkes, who was the captain of the original six vessels, it was a military exercise. Uh, the additional illustrators and scientists who came along uh, were the ones that uh, were the uh, uh, producers of the scientific product uh, that we have stored here at the Smithsonian. The military part of it has as much to do with planting the American flag in places around the world and engaging in uh, interaction with those countries to hopefully uh, develop a better uh, commercial relationship. As far as the scientists were concerned, the more often they could be on land, at least for those uh, land biologists, the better. So there was this constant tug of war between uh, the captain uh, and the, the naturalists as to how much time they would be spending on land. The Exploring Expedition collected all sorts of natural history objects, anthropological and um, animal fauna and flora, lots of, lots of plants and lots of animals. And in the realm of reptiles and amphibians, one of the, um, the objects that they collected a lot of were sea turtles from some of the islands. Mainly the sea turtles came from the South Pacific Islands. Fiji is one of the islands where many of the turtles came from. But many of the turtles that they brought back to the United States after several years were described as new species. And so some of the specimens that were collected by the Wilkes Expedition are what we call primary type specimens. These are specimens that are used for the description of a new species. Um, if an animal is found and thought to be different, a specimen, one object, one individual, is used as the type specimen or the holotype specimen. These are types of sea turtles that came back from the Wilkes expedition. These, this is a hawksbill sea turtle from Fiji that they collected. The Fijians were known as warriors and there was a lot of tribes in Fiji from island to island and even within islands and they made the most wonderful weapons. And so I have here uh, several drawers of the beautiful weapons that they made. So all of these are Fijian weapons from the exploring expedition. And see so here you can see the, the names again, XX, and then its number from Fiji. And I'll pull out a few more drawers. These are really interesting because uh, you can imagine these are very heavy. They're made out of ironwood. Cause the arena, and you can imagine taking that and uh, putting it into somebody's skull uh, would not feel very good. <laughs> very few school children reach high school without ever having heard of Captain James Cook. I guarantee you most people have not heard of Captain Charles Wilkes 
or the U.S. Exploring Expedition. Uh, and yet, the scientific result, the importance to natural, national history is so dramatic that it's, it amazes me that that has not been part of the educational curricula in this country.